Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Mini Spuru 6-in-1 Steam Deck Dock. And I've been very much looking forward to trying a Steam Deck Dock. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Okay then, so I've uh, got my trusty uh, Stanley blade here and uh, just have a little look at some of the specs on the back. Um, so it says three times USB-A ports, one USB-C charging port, which is going to be really handy. You've got two HDMI output ports, if you want to get this one connected to um, a monitor or a TV, and an Ethernet slot as well, an Ethernet port, which is going to be very, very useful if you want it connected directly to the internet. So on the face of it, that's an awful lot packed into what is in effect a very, very small package by the looks of it. I'm glad it's got instructions. And uh, this is the dock itself. Now, obviously, we're going to try this in action in a moment, but uh, there we are. So that's going into your USB plug, um, I would imagine. Yeah, you, USB, you charge it into there. This one's going to go into your Steam Deck. Um, your on off here it says on off for the HDMI. I guess while this is plugged in to your Steam Deck, as long as this is plugged in itself, um, your Steam Deck will charge through this device. That makes sense. And it's just going to sort of slip in. I quite like the weight of it, and I like the little feet as well. Yeah. So three USB C, uh, USB 3.0s on the front there. Your Ethernet slot right on the back. USB. See there for charging and an HDMI and then an on off for the HDMI. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, six in one. So, instructions this is a multifunctional docking station for Steam Deck designed for our customers to enjoy digital content for better experience. That is it. It says um, three times USB transmissions, maximum speed up to five. Uh, gigabits a second at uh, one time HDMI which is uh, 2.0 and it's 4k 60 frames a second output so it's going to be nice and high quality um, yeah that's for the power supply there we are and it gives you the little diagram about how to set it up but I mean I think we can pretty much work that out ourselves don't you there we are and there is a bit of more information and we will take a look at uh, Mini Spur Puro, if that's how you pronounce it, their website um, a little bit later on. But there's the initial package and uh, yeah, it looks quite good. So uh, let's go and give it a test. OK, then, so this is it downstairs. I'm going to first test it plugged into my main screen TV, which I've never done with the Steam Deck before. So uh, I've got an HDMI lead from the back of the dock into the TV. Got the power lead there going into the dock and uh, the little USB-C which goes in to connect the actual Steam Deck to all of that basically and uh, here we are, instant, it is instant, you just press the button on the back and you can turn the HDMI connection on or off. So uh, I've just pulled up a fairly modern game, I ironically it is a bit of a retro game but uh, you get the idea, this is Sonic Mania and um, we're using a Bluetooth Xbox controller. So I've got my son playing the actual games. I'm doing the filming. And uh, we're just using a standard Xbox Bluetooth controller. You can use any. With the Steam Deck, it pretty much pairs with everything, even the um, even the Switch controller. And here's a bit of emulation station. So as you know, if you've watched the Steam Deck videos on my channel, I mainly play it for retro games. I love it. Absolutely love having so many systems um, all on one little card, 500 and 12 gigabyte card and it's full of my retro library and um, the front end here that you're seeing here emulation station makes all these look so so nice but although the dock itself upscales to 60 frames a second which is lovely um, with the retro games of course they weren't that resolution to begin with so something like the Dreamcast the emulator that's being used does actually upscale a little bit, sometimes two, three, four times the original resolution. So playing something like this, Crazy Taxi, doesn't actually look too bad at all. I mean, it's sort of, 
it like, almost like tricks you to how it was when you played it back in the day and uh, absolutely fantastic fun still and uh, I think the Dreamcast and any systems from sort of you know, PlayStation 2 Dreamcast up are going to be absolutely fine yeah they're going to look and play great any earlier systems they're going to look a bit pixeled and well they're going to look like what they are which is old systems 20 30 years old now in some cases now here's a, a bang up to date game here's uh, this racing game and um, we have played a bit of time on this one now and I thought it would be good just to give it a try at, you know like a brand new or a modern game the last couple of years um, in like full resolution so uh, that's what we're doing here and she's just my boy going through some of the different options there I think we settled on the uh, the classic Citroen DS Uh, great great uh, game this one and um as you see i mean really no sort of there's no input lag at all um you know just using a normal bluetooth controller speaking to the steam deck everything plays absolutely fine as you would expect and i would imagine in fact I, once i've finished testing this properly i'm going to leave this this deck um my my steam deck permanently on the uh, minisu dock because uh, I think it just it charges it so the Steam Deck never runs out of charge and it's just such a great way you know, with, a, with a touch of a button it will take over the HDMI channel that's on the TV and you're off to the races really which is just perfect it's very very easy to do um, something else that's very good I wish I'd actually caught a bit of footage of this is actually browsing the Steam Deck store on the big TV now here we are in the boys bedroom and he's got a little monitor and um, basically we've, we've plugged it in via the hdmi power cable and in the front there i've plugged in a usb mouse and a usb keyboard as well there's dirt rally 2.0 that's the game we were just playing and um one of the fiddliest bits being a retro gamer is moving sort of downloaded rom files onto the steam decks card so one of the things i really wanted to do was uh, to do that now to do that you need to pop the steam deck into linux mode or desktop mode and weirdly um the dock when the steam deck is in the uh, the linux mode or the, the, the computer mode as it were um it doesn't mirror that on the screen you get the steam deck logo but you don't mysteriously have you know this computer screen so this is i'm still able to use the keyboard and mouse which is connected to the dock and i'm able to do like my file transfers and stuff like this so at the moment i'm moving a couple of a uh, playstation vita games onto my vita library inside my steam deck um and i'm able to do that it's far far easier with a plugged in keyboard and mouse and my little uh portable thumb drive with the ROMs on it's just in the bottom there on the uh, on the dock so it's really really easy to do it rather than trying to do that manually on the screen uh, with your fingers but at the same time um, it's weird that it didn't mirror it when you go back to desktop mode so I'd finished moving my files popped it back into desktop mode there we are we're back in the game as it were and it's back on the on the big screen now they do have a great website so that's the easiest way they sell right around the world and um, the language um, will be specific to your country as long as uh, alongside the price as well so uh, you can order direct from them um, it's not available through Amazon at the moment but there are obviously some other Steam Deck docks around um, on Amazon and I'll link to those in the description down below but certainly I feel it's a really great dock and uh, thanks to Minisuru for sending me one for review. Um, I think it's really, really good and uh, certainly for the price it seems excellent value for money. Thanks very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.